All right, man, so we are out on the beach. First surf excursion of the trip. Yesterday, we uh, couldn't really do much surf fishing because there was so much uh, wave height. It was like nine foot waves. I, I literally didn't even fish because I saw a guy on the beach fishing with nine ounces of weight and he couldn't even hold bottom. When there's that much current, it's, it's almost not even worth fishing in my opinion. But hopefully we'll get into some uh, kingfish today. I got some blood worms on this high low rig. We're at like a low tide. I kind of like the lower tide here. So there's a lot of life around, man. I keep seeing all these little pompano and uh, mullet just swimming through the surf. So I have a good feeling that there's gonna be some kingfish. Oh, there's a hit right there. Oh, got him. Let's go. Oh, ah, let's go. Let's see what we got. Oh, look at that double trouble right there, baby. Two spot. We're gonna keep them for bait. Um, they're awesome shark bait. Throw them down in the cooler over here. Now, in North Carolina, you're allowed to keep 50 per day. I don't think we're gonna keep that many, but we are gonna keep some for shark bait for later tonight. All right. Oh, there's a hit. Got him. Oh, let's go. Damn, that was quick, man. I would say like under 20 seconds from when I casted, we had something. Now, nah, look at that. That's We went from double spot to double kingfish. Now, these are gulf kingfish, and I'll show you how you know. Oh, well, that one went away. We were going to let him go anyway. But this guy, he's going he's gonna to go to the frying pan. But... How you know it's a gulf kingfish, see that little spot on the back? Now down here they call them sea mullets or whiting. I call them kingfish, but they're all the same species. Now we are using blood worms for bait, but I do have some alternative blood worms. Later in this week I'm going to do a few different videos uh, with some of my family members. Um, one specifically is testing out the difference between fishing live blood worms versus the alternative. Um, I'm curious to see which one outfishes the other, but I figured, you know, go with the real thing first. I know for a fact these fish can't resist them. Now, one of the big mistakes I see all these guys fishing out here, they're casting as far as they, they could possibly go. These fish seem to be t hanging right behind that first breaker. I, I know you probably can't tell because the GoPro, you know, doesn't do very good on a uh, depth standpoint depth perception but I'm only casting right behind these waves in between that wave and this wave there's like a little gully and you could actually see a bunch of fish just swimming along it and why they hang there is that's where all the sand fleas and little bait that they're feeding on get washed around with you know the incoming wave so we're kind of just throwing it right in the middle of where they're hanging and waiting for that hit and see we just got a little tap these are the type of fish where you can't just put the rod in the holder. You put the rod in the holder, you're gonna get robbed all day. You gotta be holding the rod and ready to go because otherwise you're gonna get robbed. I see guys all the time, they take that cast, put the rod in the rod holder, go drink a beer or something, and then they come back, reel their bait in and see that it's just a bare rig. So, big key, just hold onto your rod, wait for that hit, like there's a hit right there. Got him. And you wanna wait. You know, until you get a few knocks because they are small, smaller mouths. It does take them a few bites to get on. See, we got ourselves another whiting. Whoa, that one, that one hit it right as it hit bottom. Damn, that's a nicer one. That's a good eating size. I don't keep them unless they're about 10 inches. Yeah, look at that beauty. See him getting hits right, oh, right there, got him. Ah, my hands are so slippery. I could actually see these kingfish right in the crest of the wave. It's kind of cool. I don't know if the camera's catching it, because, but 
that's a big spot right there. See that? That's the hit you want right there. I'm gonna let it sit though. It's one of the old timers was saying if you let it sit and you could probably catch two at a time. Once you got one hooked, you can hook another one. Well, I don't know if I got two, but I definitely have one. Oh, now that's a different species. That's a Florida pompano. But that's a juvenile. We're gonna let him go. Man, we already got a slam. Kingfish spot and pompano, man. Getting a hit. Oh, see that? Waiting for a little bit more. He'll come back, watch. Got him. Oh, I knew he'd come back. They always do. That's not a bad size goal. 